Hello and welcome to Best Talks. I'm Bev Short and I'm your host. Now I heard a story once about Albert Einstein and I heard that he wore the same pair of shoes. Well, not exactly the same pair, the same style of pair of shoes, pants, shirt, tie and jacket every single day. And he did that because he didn't want to spend the time or the brain power picking out his clothes. Now there's not many of us like Albert though, especially us girls. And there are times as also that we find it hard to put it all together. And if you're anything like me you can be a little bit unadventurous. Now today's guest that I have on is Emmy Award winning fashion stylist and colour expert Brenda Cooper who is joining me from Hollywood in California and later in today's episode Brenda is going to be addressing your questions and concerns about the task that all women face every morning getting dressed. Now welcome Brenda. Hello. Hi Bev. That was fantastic. What a, what a fantastic introduction. And I, have, I have to tell you, I've never heard that story about Einstein. And I, I love it because he had a uniform for himself. And that is completely my philosophy of style. Um, so all I'm going to say about that is great minds think alike. I am in very good company because I have the same philosophy with a little more flair and and some variations well that's wonderful brenda i mean it makes me feel a little more reassured considering i wear practically the same pair of jeans every day but anyway tell me you're originally from london uh, but you've been in um california now for about 30 years so how did you end up working in hollywood and how did you win your emmy award well people ask me how did i get here and i usually say by plane (laughs) (laughs) very <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't on the banana boat then. It was no, on. I wasn't, I wasn't on the banana boat, and without getting into too much detail about it, Bev, my very first boyfriend was in the rock and roll business, and I came to America in the seventies with a band that was huge at the time called Yes. Oh, really? Did you? I didn't know that about you. Well, that's fantastic. Are you allowed to say who your boyfriend was, or is that... My boyfriend wasn't one of the band. He was the production manager for the band. He was responsible for the whole shebang. And I swear to God, I, I flew over here. I landed in Pittsburgh, which is not a great place to land. Uh, put my foot on American soil, and I, that was it. I'm coming to America. I've come home, and that was um, that was 1977. So I've been here ever since. Um, I came. I came back. I lived in Manhattan for 10 years in the 70s, going into the 80s. I swung from the chandeliers of Studio 54 on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wild time. Uh, the time of disco in New York in the 70s and the 80s, and I moved out here in. Uh, 87. I was married to an actor that I don't know if you know him in your part of the world, um, but he was a very big actor in the 80s on a show called LA Law. Did you guys get LA Law? Oh, yes. Well, I mean, I didn't live in New Zealand at that time, but I remember LA Law. Yes, but I don't really remember who was in it. I didn't really watch it. I just remember the name. So I was uh, married to Corbin Burnson who was on the show and we lived in New York together. And then um, we got divorced and I moved out here in 1987. I was pursuing an acting career that was going nowhere faster than speed of sound. (laughs) And uh, and I I only realized this found this out like just recently, I was on my last acting job playing a hooker. And I'm like, why am I playing hookers? It's just, not my thing. No, it's just and not really you, is it, Brenda? No, it's not really me, it doesn't. It's not bringing out the best in me. Mm. And I was actually, um, it was a TV series, and one of the actors on the series was an actor called George Clooney. Oh. I never realized this. Anyway, that was it for me. I was done with acting. I needed a job. I was always great at putting clothes together. So I started a little fashion consulting business and I used to go into all the homes of my girlfriend's mums because they were able to pay me. And I would go into their closets and revamp their whole closets and they'd walk out with a completely like new wardrobe, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, 
And then like my second client uh, was connected to the uh, industry and he said, I want to introduce you to um, an agent, a top Hollywood agent. She introduced me, he introduced me to the agent. I was scared to death, I have to tell you, I was 30 and I was scared to death because I had no qualifications, no education, nothing, but I was always good at putting clothes together. And I must have had the gift of the gab because I kept her on the phone. Three days later, I was an assistant to um, a designer. And three years later, I'm walking up on stage to get an Emmy for my first job, which was the nanny. That's amazing, that's amazing. So I, I, I found my passion. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think when you find your passion, you go down that path and it's just amazing, isn't it? But a lot of people, right? Um, I don't necessarily feel this way. So don't think this is me. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. A lot of people say that clothes are very much on the surface and this whole fashion industry is shallow and, you know, it means nothing. Now, what, what's your viewpoint on, on that? Oh. Don't get me started. <laughs> First of all, for me, clothing is, I mean, when people ask me what I do, I say, I say, well, this is what I do. I align your inner wisdom, your knowledge, your expertise with an outer expression in terms of the way you look so that you can be seen as a per person of authority and confidence and integrity before you said hello. So, it, this is so far, the way we dress and the way we uh, present ourselves to the world um, is an indication of how we feel, of our intentions. Um, how we dress affects how we act, what we think, how we behave, and ultimately how we're perceived. So how could this thing that, that every, practically every person on the planet has to do every day of their life, how could it possibly be superficial. I mean, we could talk about that question, we don't have hours to do it, but we could go into that for hours on clothing. It is the furthest thing from superficiality that you could possibly uh, imagine. And when I work with clients and they come into my studio, I mean, they literally have transformations that happen when they discover the colors and the tone of colors that illuminates them. And they look in the mirror and, and they see themselves in a way that they never imagined possible. And then wearing the shapes of the clothing that make them feel confident about themselves. And they start, you know, they love who they are. I mean, that's just, it's my purpose and it's my passion. So I don't care whether it's jeans and a t-shirt, Bev. Um, if it's the right jeans and the right t-shirt, it can make you feel like a million dollars. Well, so, that's, that's good to know because that's kind of my uniform, really. I, 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 say I, I, I've already checked you out. I've already checked you out. When you walked away a minute ago, <laughs> I checked you out from top to bottom. And I thought, very nice. Oh, did you really? I did, when you went to go to the bathroom. Oh, well, that's good because I think I'm looking particularly casual from the waist down today. But that's, that's very good. Um, but anyway, you've, you've discovered along the way, you know, working with so many people that... Um, it's not just the colors and the clothes. There are other changes that happen with the people. Can you talk about some of the transformations that people have had after working with you? Oh my gosh. Oh, um, in a nutshell, darling, please, in a nutshell. What kind of nut? <laughs> a small a one. A walnut or a Brazil nut. Really, um, Bev, I'll try and keep it brief. Um, it's a confidence level. It's an elevation of, of, of a woman's confidence, a man's confidence. It, it's, it, it's stepping into full self-expression. And there's nothing like the confidence you get when you know that you look great. And that outer, that outer transformation can really affect an inner transformation for people. And they start taking risks and they start... They start dating when they didn't date before. They start being more social when they weren't that social before. They wouldn't even go out because they couldn't find, I've had clients, they won't go out because they can't find the right thing to wear. You know, I'm going for the job interview. Um, I had a great story the other day, but it's in a nutshell, so I won't tell you. But a, a person who lost a job because the jacket she was wearing was so distracting to the interviewer that all she could focus on was this jacket that was way too bright for her. So she actually missed what the, what the lady was saying. And it just kind of affected, and pun intended, it colored the whole interview. So how we present ourselves is incredibly powerful on many levels.
Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, I bought this new jacket the other day, and I'm just so chuffed with it, I really am, and it's a little bit different for me, because it's got flowers all over it, and I wore it on Saturday, just with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt, and I just felt amazing in it, you know, if I'd gone out in a cardigan, I would not have felt the same. Right, right, I mean, clothing really affects how you, um, how you feel, how you act, I mean, mm. it, it's hugely important, um, and if we didn't, um, We'd all be walking around naked, wouldn't we? Oh, I, w I don't think I'd like that. That would be slightly out of my comfort zone. So can we move on to the questions that we've uh, been sent? Yes, I would love it. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to read these because they're, they're quite long to remember. So um, the first question is from Laura Dempsey from my hometown of Wellington, New Zealand. Now, Laura would like to know, Brenda, what casual staples you would recommend for our crazy weather? which is basically can be four seasons in one day. She right. says she often layers, but feels that it makes her look older rather than fashionable. We also had a similar question from Ramona Remesat from Calgary in Canada, and they have very cold winters there. So she would also like to know how best to layer pieces. Right, okay. Well, um, it's interesting that you think layering actually makes you feel older, because if you do it right, it can make you feel like a million dollars. So what I would do with layering is I would create, what, and this is what I do, I actually have a dressing system that I call the Silhouette Solution, which is about layering, and it's creating columns of a top and a bottom in the same color. So, you know, um, whether your color is like black, if it's a turtleneck for winter, like get a turtleneck, you know, but not a thick one, a thin one, and then get a straight legged pant or a bootleg pant or a jean, and then create a column, okay? And then layer something over it, layer one piece over it, and then put a scarf around the neck. I've actually done, I mean, I'm doing it today. Look at, look at what I've got on. I've got on a pair of pants, just wide legged, comfortable, casual pants. I've got on a, a tank top, that I bought in Phuket when I was doing a TV show last year. Um, and I put this piece over, which is the long, just flowy, you know, cardigan, very comfortable and cozy. And to make it look a bit hip, you know, I've got yeah. this belt, which I found in a thrift store. And then, you know, if I want, you know, I'll, you can layer it with a scarf, and a, a thick scarf, you know, a thin scarf, depending on your climate. And you can start layering out you know pieces and then i could put something else over this and still i don't think this looks old and dumpy do you Beb? not at all not at all i don't know whether i'd look very good in pants like that i mean i'm the height of the average 11 year old child so i think that if i wore baggy pants i'd look like a clown well let me just but let me just say this to you it's always funny because it's like i work with every every height every shape every weight everything and people have this thinking that because you're short you can't wear this and because you're tall you can't wear that but if you make the right choice and do it in a balanced way you can look absolutely fabulous so if you didn't wear so i'm wearing a palazzo pant but you could get a straight leg pant okay you could get a jean and wear your tank with a jean and then you could take six different pairs of shoes and create six different flavors of it and then even though you can't see it, I'm, I'm surrounded by clothing right now, so I'll be like pulling stuff in. But let me, let me just grab. So Turn your laptop round. Um, apologies for the background noise. How dare the road sweeper come round the street at this time when I'm recording with you? But anyway, so look, look, I'm going to take this off for a second, and then I'm going to put on. Look, this is a like colder weather. I bought this on. I bought this like the other week on. A girl walked into a meeting in it, and I'm like, oh my God, where did you get that jacket? I want it. And she go, I bought it four years ago. And I went online to one of the apps and yeah. found this great jacket. So look at, look at this. Hold on, see? See, look at this great. So, see? Yeah. A different look. Now, this could be jeans, but I went from a flowy look to now just a, a warm leather jacket that's... Um, you know, got sheepskin on the inside. And you just, you build your silhouettes and then you can just layer, you can just keep layering um, things over it. And it, it's simple and it's clean and it's modern. Yes. And you don't have to look frumpy. You don't have to look dumpy. You can be the, you know, chic and modern. Yes. My, 
I always say the best antibiotic for aging is great style. Well, that's lovely to know. And apparently, according to you, I've got a little bit of it, so I'm quite happy about that. Right, I'm going to move on to the next question, okay. um, which is also from Laura. I'm okay. keen to know about casual wear for us women over a certain age. Now, you see, I don't think like that when it comes to clothes. I do a little bit, but not a lot. I don't think, oh, I've got to dress a certain way because I'm X age, right? So she says, sometimes I feel frumpy and I want to wear things that are stylish, fashionable, without looking like mutton dressed as lamb, particularly in the colder season as we have to layer up so much. So we're talking about layering again. Right. But the whole thing about aging, I mean, women come with, to me with that all the time. It's that like you don't have to do a big shift because you're um, getting older. You just have to do a little shift. I mean, it's like if you're wearing skirts, wear uh, a longer skirt. You know, even if you've got great legs. And I, I don't know exactly the culture over there, um, Bev, but I'm sure it's actually probably very similar to the casual lifestyle of California. Mm. Um, but again, it's like... If it's a skirt, just lengthen your skirt a little bit. Um, don't wear your clothes too tight. You know, don't, I mean, I don't know whether you girls do it. They don't push your boobs up under your chin. I mean, the whole, the whole I thing is... I haven't got any. I try. I try to get them under my chin, but they just go. Well, in LA, it's all about uh, bleached blonde hair and... and oh, well, I'm that. I'm, I'm the bleached blonde hair, I just don't have the boobs. So, so you don't, I, I want to give Laura some tips, you know, don't wear your clothes too tight, you know, lengthen your skirts. I mean, and I don't know how old you are. And maybe you want to wear something that's more long sleeved because as we get older, you know, the arms start to go a little bit. But like what I'm wearing is very thin, you know, it's, it's thin. Um, just to wear, you know, thin layers, don't bulk up with bulky stuff. Just layer, layer everything thinly. This is all thin stuff. Now, if I was... Uh, when it gets cold, I would put a uh, turtleneck over this. So I've got this layer, it's thin, turtleneck over that, then put a leather jacket over it, then put a scarf over it. Here's another scarf, look, another great scarf, you know, that you can layer with. Yeah. And keep it, like, really simple. You don't, it doesn't have to be complicated. No, no. I mean, I, you, I mean, the thing about layers, yeah, you do have to have them thin, don't you? Otherwise, they're not going to fit under jackets and things. Right. Just right. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. It's from okay. Brenda Hamilton, who's from Canada. And mm. she says, what key pieces Hi, can Brenda. place in every season? Could you, could you put that one by me again? I was Sorry. Answering. What key pieces have a place in every season? What key pieces? have a place in every season? That's a good t-shirt? What? A t-shirt? Yeah, a t-shirt, but a t um, um, well, I was going to actually say a turtleneck and you would say, how could that possibly be a turtleneck? Well, because turtlenecks are one very chic. In the summer, you do a sleeveless turtleneck. Very, very elegant and very chic. In the winter, you do a long sleeved turtleneck. Um, I'm, I don't know if you're a lady who works, but the, it's always the classics. It's like uh, a pencil skirt is always a great skirt. Um, a maxi skirt, you know, a long maxi skirt, a pair of great fitting jeans, you know, and a tank top. I mean, this, like, this style of tank top that I wear that actually goes below the crotch because I like covering everything, covering your behind, covering here, and creating a tunic effect which gives... And elong it elongates the body. And then you can wear this, you know, when it's warmer, you can layer it with a turtleneck when it gets colder. And it's also when you do that, for the ladies who are going through the change, you can just rip everything off, rip off the turtleneck, you know? And then you can like, ah, okay. Alternatively, so, alternatively, they could work with me and then their hot flushes go away. All right. Okay. Can you describe the best ways to incorporate one special animal print piece? Okay, Who, who's asking that question? This is Brenda Hamilton from Canada again. Hello, Brenda Hamilton from Canada again. Um, there's not many people with the name Brenda. It's nice to meet you. Okay, uh, my answer to that would be incorporate it very carefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I'm a huge fan of animal print and I have animal print in every possible print from snakes to leopards to zebras, but you do want to be very careful with it. Um, and what I do usually with it, I usually scarves. And I've got some scarves here. Uh, it's a great way, a scarf is a great way. Here we go. It's a great way to um, take an outfit like the one I have on now and just add just a touch of animal print. Here I've got a very long scarf and I'm looping it around here and just adding it like that to just add a little bit. You just want to touch because if you do it too much, it's going to look tacky. So, you think, so do you think possibly that my uh, one piece tiger print uh, cat suit might not be the way to go then? Well, Bev, it depends. I would have to see it because I have, I have had my own one piece tiger print cat suits in the past. So I, have I wouldn't have done, but it's just, you have to be just very careful not to, um, not to make it look tacky unless of course you want to look tacky. So yeah, no, I was only joking anyway. Right, let's move on to Melanie Aldridge from Taupo in New Zealand has asked about the dreaded muffin top. Yeah. She says, if I buy pants that don't give me a muffin top, the fit is too big. If I buy pants that fit, I get the muffin top. Apart from getting rid of the muffin top, which would be the ideal solution, can Brenda suggest some tips whilst I'm working on that? Okay, well, first of all, I love that you're working on it. So, thumbs up for that. I hope she's working with you, Bev. She is, actually. <laughs> yes. Yay! Okay, good on that one. And, um, the whole muffin top, and I believe me, I've dealt with the muffin top with actresses all the time. Your best friend is a tailor. So if you buy the pants that fit it through your hips and through your legs, but you've got the big gap, you know, the big gap here, take it to a tailor and they, and they will fit it for you because a tailor is your best friend. What your doctor is to your health, a tailor is to your clothing. And he will take in the back for you and have them fitting beautifully. And alternatively, which is a little bit more complicated, and I've actually done this um, when I worked with uh, my dear friend Fran, on a TV show we did uh, a few years ago, I took the, the um, waist of the jean, took it to the tailor, and opened up the waist so it came up higher, okay, so it covered the muffin top. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and, and it looked amazing on her, but I don't know what the trend is over there, but over here the trend is a higher-waisted jean now. Right, I think it's a bit of everything, to be honest. I think you can get anything that you want, really. Uh, but it's interesting how right now um, the genes have definitely have moved up. The waist has moved up, which is mm. definitely going to help you um, with your muffin top uh, uh, to, to smooth it out. So, but really the, the way to go is get a tailor, ask where you buy them, if they have a tailor. If not, um, go to a tailor and I'm telling you, it's the best investment you could possibly make. Okay, well that's, that's good advice. Now we've got something here about shoes. So yes. Ramona from Canada again has says she has trouble pairing shoes with different outfits. Now Ramona's very tall, she's five foot ten and she doesn't wear heels very often. She doesn't like wearing heels also as it hurts her feet, plus she's more of a casual athletic type. Can you tell her what she what would look great with an ankle length cropped pant, a three quarter length pant or boyfriend jeans? Okay. So thank you, Ramona, for that question. And my, my first answer out of the gate is the perfect shoe for you is a ballet flat, okay? Which is a simple, elegant shoe, which will look good with, a, what, what are the things she wants to wear it with? A cropped? Um, well, she likes um, athletic gear and she likes cropped, ankle length cropped pant, three quarter okay. length, Pant and boyfriend jeans. So, okay, so part of my dressing system, hold on, that I have here, hold on. Let me just, I just got out of camera for a second, that's okay. I've got the six ultimate pairs of shoes in here. Ooh. Um, Is this for anybody? Yes, I mean, this system that I have, I mean, I, I work 
use a system with women that are size two, with women that are size 22. Yeah, but I'm just good at height as well. Darling, can I tell you something? The system that I've worked with, that I, that I developed off of the nanny, works regardless of your height, your weight, your age, your ethnicity. Okay, it works for every occasion of your life and in any geographical location. You can oh, I think I'm going to have to sign up for that because I'm pretty unadventurous with shoes. Right, and, it, and the thing is, it's like, it's a no thinking required system. And mm -hmm. I developed it off of the nanny because every week I had to come up with 70 outfits and I had to be able to create different changes because not only did I do Fran Drescher on the nanny, I did the whole cast. So I developed this system, which I, it's the way I dress all the time, so I never have to think about it. So anyhow, this is what, okay, this is the shoe. I wear it all the time. It's a ballet flat. It's elegant. It works with everything. It's classic. It's, I mean, <laughs> Audrey Hepburn was wearing this in the 50s, and people are wearing it today, and it's feminine. It's comfortable. And what I do with these things, so there's my one that I would wear with clothes, with, um, you know, skirts and pants and when I get dressed. But then, you know, I'm always looking for different ones. So this is, do you have Crocs? Do you have Crocs over there? Oh, yeah, we have Crocs. Of course we do, Brenda. And we're not living in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we don't know which brands Crocs I don't know whether many people would think of Crocs as being particularly stylish, though. I'm surprised. <laughs> Look at this. My son bought me this for Mother's Day. He, he knew that I love ballet flats. And so this is a croc. So wow. It's, it's just a very simple, it's rubber. Yeah. And it's like really comfortable. So when I want to be a little elegant, you know, yeah. I wear my J. Crew one. And then when I want to go sporty and go and do yoga or something, I, I wear this one. You know? So would so you wear those with boyfriend jeans? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Look, I'm wearing them with palazzo pants right now. Okay. They work with everything. Like that belly flat will work with skirts, with pants, with jeans. With so what about, right, so Ramona's in Canada. It's yeah. flipping freezing over there for half of the year or more. Right. You can't really wear ballet flats, can you, in the snow? And okay. freezing, freezing cold. Right. So if she was going to wear her boyfriend jeans... In minus degrees, what would yeah. she stick on her feet? I would stick on, I could run and get you, uh, I would stick on like a great furry boot. Okay. A great, lovely, elegant, uh, but, but, you know, sporty at the same time. I've got one that's all covered in fur. Um, and wear that with it. Or, um, oh, God, I can't remember the name of it. Um, Sorrells. I don't know whether you uh, have Sorrells over there. But I don't or, or Uggs in Canada, but you can tuck your jeans into it, um, or wear a knee boot, you know, wear, wear, tuck the jeans into a, a knee boot, and it would be, you know, fabulous. Um, okay. Right, I'm just looking at my other question. Oh, sorry, you're still on shoes. But, but look at this, yes, we're still on shoes. Look, ha find a, a great flat, just a flat. Oh, yes. See that? Yes. That's a great multifunctional works for everything, boot, very, it's clean. You'll notice that all of the things I'm showing you have very clean lines to them. They're not embellished, no. clean, simple, to build a silhouette that you can build on. I call yeah. this the personality piece, and these are your basic silhouette pieces. Okay. So, so um, Ramona's also saying that she gets overwhelmed when she goes into stores. She says, yeah. if I see a complete outfit on a mannequin that I love, then it's easy for me to put an outfit together. But if not, I have a hard time figuring out what to choose from all the stuff on the racks. Usually I get exhausted and go home empty handed. How can I improve my shopping experience? You can have me come to Canada and let's go shopping together. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's nothing I love to do more. Yes. Um, Again, I would, I would just keep it so simple. It's like, do, your, do silhouettes, create silhouettes, you know, like, like your, your jeans and a turtleneck, your jeans and a t-shirt, or a black pant and a black t-shirt, a navy pant and a navy t-shirt, or do a brown version. I, I have all these different color versions. So you, it's like you're dressing the canvas of your body, 
and then you put a jacket over it or a cardigan over it so you keep it really simple um, and you're not having to look at this top and and then does that pant go with that top and then what do I put over it create your canvas simple clean a tank top a turtleneck a pair of uh, straight leg pants or a pair of jeans and then throw your leather jacket over it your denim jacket over it your elegant jacket over it I mean I've, I've got a rack here of vintage clothing I mean everything so once you've got that silhouette you can do like many many things with it and it keeps it really really simple okay so so is that like avoiding patterns and things like that and then you add your uh, color more color or patterns with scarves and what you, want to do, what you want to do Bev is keep it neutral see how yeah. neutral you're absolutely right keep it neutral don't get into a load of patterns and you will always be able to find these even if this was a, just a narrow legged pattern you you can find these pieces every season okay and then put your um like take your scarf i've got look look at look at all these scarves i've got so many scarves i suppose also people will do it with jewelry and things as well yeah and like the belts like you've got the belt i've got these lovely jewel earrings here that's yeah. my splash of color today. Right, so do it with color. The personality pieces are where you bring in your color. This is always a neutral. Right. You bring in your color. And then, look, I've got a whole load of jewelry right here with me. Look at this lovely leather. You know, if I wanted to make this into an evening thing, look. Yeah. Look at, make it a little bit more dressy. Look at that lovely thing. I've yeah. And then take it off. Take well, yeah, changes it completely, doesn't it? Now I've, now I've made the whole thing more elegant and less and less sporty. Um, if I, you know, if I want to, I mean, what I'm wearing, even though it's, you know, it's not high end per se, but if I wanted to make it special, special, I could take this out. Look, put this around it. Yeah. So really, I mean, what, 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 you're, what you're telling everybody then is keep everything really simple and then add, yes? It's the, it's the, you know, do you know the KISS method? No. Oh, over here there's this joke called keep it simple, stupid. Ah, yes, yes, yes. But I changed it. Yeah. Keep it stylishly simple. Right, yeah. To simply stylish. So look how simple everything is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just, it's like simple ingredients like cooking that makes the most delicious recipe. I mean, I've had these for 20 years. Yeah. Um, and, and go with basics. You go, you see, you go with basics and you build on your basics. So mm -hmm. it's a pair of jeans, straight leg pant, and a skirt, a tank top, um, like a turtleneck when it's colder, and you, you'll find you'll always find those every season, no matter what. And then, depending on what you like, this is a, this is a long jacket. Then you saw this, you know, there was a twenty-year-old wearing this, and I'm a lot older than that. And I mean, I've got this, and it looks fantastic, and I can take the sleeves off it, you know. And then, if you want to go dressy, look, I mean. I mean, if you're going out for the evening, you know, you could put this over it. Yeah. Let me, I have to show you. Hold on. So it's really just lots of little pieces, really, isn't it? And then putting all your pieces together. Yes. And depending on your lifestyle, depending on what do you do for work, what do you do for dressy, look at, look at, not yeah. on the camera, but, but do you see how? Yeah. How, how lovely this is. I mean, a girlfriend was getting rid of this and she gave it to me. And it's like a little bolero top and put some nice, you know, jewellery with it. This actually goes great with it. And it's kind of funky, but it's dressy. Yeah. You know, and then you've got a look. So now I've taken that same silhouette. I've now taken into the evening. Right. I've, I've taken it dressy because you can wear the sweater, the, sweater the, the cardigan for work. This is for evening, and then this is for casual. Yeah. What I've done is I've kept the same silhouette because my lifestyle doesn't, I don't have time to be changing. I'm dressing everybody else. 
So the last thing, I, I want dressing to be the easiest part of my day, and I want it to be the easiest part of your day, just like my friend Einstein. Well, I was going to say, you're awfully like him, aren't you? Are you related in any way? No. No? But, but Not quite I, as bright as old Einstein, but, uh, but you know, very clever with the style. So, so, yes, it's the theory of, instead of the theory of what, is it the theory of relativity? Yes. The theory of being simply stylish. Wonderful. So, anyway, Brenda, it's been wonderful having you on and giving us all these lovely tips, and it's helped me. But where can people find you? Because you don't just work with Hollywood stars, do you? You no. work with not people like me. So my actual passion is actually working with the everyday woman. I mean, I love, it's fun to work in Hollywood and everything, but my passion is for every one of you ladies out there to just step into your magnificence and your full self-expression. So you can, I would love you to follow me on Facebook, which is Brenda Coop Style. Um, my, my Instagram is at Brenda Cooper Style. Um, and my email, you want to email me? It's style. No, what we want is your website, darling. Your website. www.brendacooper.com Wonderful. And you have, you, have, um, you have lots of information on there, haven't you, about this styling system that you talk about, yes? Well, actually, there's not a lot on there. Um, I mean, I actually, you and I can talk about it later. I mean, I actually have a system. I have a course. Right, so that that can be available for people at some point. So yes. if they if they get on your mailing list, yes. um, and keep in touch with you on Facebook and what have you, then yes. they'll find out about the course once once you've got it all online, which isn't going to take very long now, is it? It's only a yes. couple of weeks away. Right, absolutely. Yes. Bev, I just have to say I've loved um, answering all your ladies' questions, and thank you very much for the questions. Um, and thank you, Bev, and, and and let's do this again. Yeah, it was fantastic, and I would just like to say thank you so much, Brenda. It's wonderful. I just think technology is such an amazing thing. That I can be sitting here in my living room slash kitchen in New Zealand, and there you are in your wonderful, lovely LA home, you know, right. and uh, and we're talking to each other about clothes and bonding over what women like, you know which is fantastic so thank you once again and thank you everybody for um, coming on and, and watching Bev's talks and if you think if it's it's of any use to anybody that you know then please do share it you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can always find me at my website which is www.fitnessforwomen.co.nz that's changing soon to bevshort.com but not yet anyway see you next time thanks a lot Bye. Bye, Brenda. Bye. Bye.